Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my Upwork profile and then I'm going to show you how you can create a professional looking portfolio website to promote your freelance services to attract and gain clients from outside of freelance marketplaces. We're going to create the website by using an AI tool, which is going to save us a whole lot of time. And even if you want, you can create your portfolio website completely free of cost on this platform. So here's the story. Today, after a long, long break, I have signed into my Upwork profile and I made some major changes including the services that I'm going to provide from now on to my future clients. So as you can see, I have added YouTube manager, video SEO and channel growth strategist as my title on this platform. And if you just take a look at this long profile overview, which is obviously SEO optimized with an expectation, like after a few weeks, as it takes some time to get ranked. Whenever a client will make a search here on the search bar for any of the services I have added on the title or some of the keywords I have entered right here on the profile overview as well. So whenever someone will use those keywords right here on the search keyword, my profile will start appearing on the search results so that I will start getting invitations and hopefully I'll get hired as well, which is really great. All right, guys, so now it's time to take this marketing approach to the next level. We need a professional portfolio website so that we can use the portfolio website to add on our social media sites and we can use the portfolio website link to our marketing materials, including emails if you want and all of the social media posts so that people will be able to visit the website, learn more about our services that we offer. And if they want, they can start working with us outside of marketplace, which is going to save us some money for sure. And it is going to help us get more money without the competition, I would say. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna visit the website, which is rafis.net slash Doric. This is my affiliate URL, so I'm gonna type out here. And after that, after visiting the site, simply click here on try it for free button right here. And then it is going to take you to the sign up page. I already created my account. Basically, you can sign up with your Gmail account. So if you click here on sign up with Google, it is going to connect your Gmail account with the platform or you can provide your email address, password and create an account here. So as I already created my free account, so I'm going to click on login now. And after that, I'm going to click here on sign in with Google. So it is going to take my Gmail information and then it is going to let me in to the website dashboard. Here we go. Let me click on close. And after that, Make sure you are clicking here on AI sites bet after signing into the account. And for your information, as I am using a free account, you are seeing this upgrade option. All right, so let's click on AI sites. And after that, I'm going to click here on this create new site with AI. And then here is the options or the fields where we have to provide our information. For instance, I'm going to type out something as I want to create the website to promote these services. So I'm going to type out, let's say, YouTube channel growth manager as an example and then we're going to provide some let's say prompt or direction to the tool so that it is going to use those information to create a website for us so let me copy paste some of the information from here copy and i'm going to add some information i am ajharul rafi a youtube a youtube manager video seo and channel growth strategist with subscribers on YouTube and then I'm going to get some more information from here copy and basically I'm gonna take some more so that the more data we can provide to the tool it is going to hopefully it is going to give us a let's say more content rich website or useful website for us so here i have added those information basically we can go with this information only as well so you can put two or three sentences and it is going to work out and create a website for you and again the more data you will give to the tool the more accurate and more use uh, functional website it is going to give back to you so i'm going to add some more information let's say um, create a simple clean and professional looking website for me it's um okay that's fine and after that we have got this language field so if you click uh currently it's set to english but if you click here you will find many options from the options you can choose whatever language you want to go with so i'm going to go with english and after that it's time to click on generate your website button right here and it is going to as you can see site created successfully it is going to configure global fonts and global or color settings for the website and it is going to collect data whatever i provided on the prompts and it's going to connect all the let's say um 
tools it is going to use to create our website in between so let's just wait maybe it's gonna take around uh, one or one and a half minutes to start generating the website for us so let's just wait while it is uh, working you can see it's uh, working in the background you can see from here and here we go it just started working okay i'm seeing a wow seven years youtube expertise then get proven youtube growth strategies wow that's that's looking personalized so that's brilliant ajwal is a leading youtube growth strategist with over 12 years of experience though i don't have 12 years of experience but it just added i have countless channels grow there so basically i have to make some changes on the website for sure because it is generating the ai content it's fine but maybe i have to add some tweaks and we are gonna spend some time it is still saving us a whole lot of time because if we had to think about the design if we had to think about the let's say layouts and the content from the scratch it would take us a whole long time where we can now um being able to build the website like if we if we work one more hour or so we'll be able to create this a full functional website so here we go if we click here on let's say on this so we can basically update the logo for instance, we have got this logo as of now. If I click here, I can click on upload image and upload a new logo. So as I don't have any logo, so I'm going to keep this as it is just for the demonstration purpose. And if you want, you can change the link of these nav menus. So if you scroll a bit down, you're going to find links option and then you can see the schedule option. Then the pricing, if we go to pricing, you can see the pricing and then select the pages from here. So I'm not going to talk about this thing now. So let's just talk, let's just take a look uh, a bit closer to this text, whatever it's generated, get proven YouTube growth strategies. Okay. From an expert with this subscription. That's brilliant. Achol has been running a successful YouTube channel since 2015. It should be 2017. Okay, so I am basically, I have just clicked here and the pop-up model appeared here, the editing panel. So I'm going to adjust the setting. I've added 2017 with over 16 subscribers and 7 years of experience. He knows exactly what it takes to grow a YouTube channel in any niche. That's fine. Book a strategy call. That's fine. Now it's time to link the specific URL, then see case studies so I can add some testimonials. That's brilliant. And after that, it has, um, let's say, let me click here. It has given me one of the beautiful looking website, uh, sorry, image, which is relevant. But what I'd suggest or what I'd use, I might going to use a my image instead of this one. That's going to be fine. So I can simply click here and I'm going to, let's say, try uploading an image from my laptop. Basically, So I can simply add this one. So I had this picture while I was working with the Doric team. So I have just uploaded this picture. Let's see how it's going to look here. Here we go. It's looking nice. No problem. So this is a personalized task. So we can add some uh, picture of our client's um, logos. And then here I have got this section looks fine. Then this section, this looks fine as well. Subscribe's uh, clients help. So, oops. So if we want, we can basically customize all of these things. Then drive YouTube growth. So it seems the builder already provided me a whole lot of data and I can simply start tweaking a bit and the things that I don't need, I can simply click and then I can delete. For instance, let's say I want to edit this email section. So I'm going to click here. And then if I click here, then I can put, let's say, my email address, rafi at rafis.net, for example. Here we go. I've got this updated. So this is basically how you can start updating the website. Now, if I talk about, let's say, the website, the tool generated, sometimes it could happen. The website this tool has generated is not the way how we were looking or it, it has provided you some demo content instead of the custom ones. So how we can do, uh, how can make some changes. So if any of the sections are not um, not looking like as you wanted, so you can simply click here or hover over here on the section, then you can simply regenerate the complete section or regenerate the content. For instance, if I click here on regenerate section and if I click on um, regenerate section again, or you can add a custom command as well. So just take a look within a few seconds, it is going to regenerate the section for us. Just take a look, it's working and it, it has added an image here. And it's still loading. Let's just wait while it provides us the final content. YouTube consultancy to grow. Here we go. We have got another like style here. Okay. So this is how you basically have to tweak. You have to click here on regenerate. Then you have to provide your, let's say, provide your comment. And if you want, you can uh, customize 
regenerate a section by providing the comments so this is how you basically have to customize the thing and if you want to change any of the things uh, manually so simply you have to click here on the elements and then you'll be able to ch make the changes manually so let me show you how you can uh, or before i go to any further i'd love to show you if the website is uh, already um, mobile optimized or not so if i click on this tablet section or tablet screen you can see it is already uh, tablet optimized so if i click on mobile then you can see the website is already mobile optimized which is a great thing and if i take you to the desktop screen and if i click on this settings option you can see that already it has added or it have added uh, the page title and page description for us so it is going to help us like uh, for the seo purposes as well and to add new pages if you want you can simply click here and if you go to links you can basically delete any of the option for instance i don't want the subscribe option so i can simply delete and click on yes and just take a look the subscribe option has been deleted so if you want to add a new page simply click here on page or pages and then you can click on plus or you can click on this uh, icon so that you can start adding a custom page for any of the uh, things appearing here or we can simply click here and click here then we can um, we can add links here first and then we can create a custom page for the let's say navigation menu or item after that you have got global style you can basically change the color and things from here so if you want you can generate images let's say using the tool for instance if we don't want this image you can simply click here on image you can click here again and after that you can generate with ai so if you want you can generate an, a photo you can you can generate an illustration for instance youtube um video platform so I've just provided this one, whatever came up to my mind, you can specify if, if you want a landscape portrait or square image. So I've selected square, which was the default one. So let's just see and uh, let's just wait and see what kind of image it comes up with for us. So I've added illustration. So let's see, here we go. It has provided us an illustration of YouTube. So if I had selected photos or photo, then it would give us a photo. So let's just wait while it is working. So just take a look, we have got the photo now. So I can select this one and it is going to be used. So I'm going to click on insert and let's cross this out and let's cross this out. It should already be added here. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm sorry, it just added. It's been, it's been updated here. Okay, so this is basically how you can start customizing on the website. The things that you don't need, you can simply remove them. And the things that you want to add, you can add them by simply explore the options just take a look you can click here on add elements if you want you can add social icons and there are many other options appearing here which you can add most of the options available here are free so basically try and um, do them for instance if you want let's say heading to be added right here on this part for instance simply drag heading right here and put this like that it is going to be added right so spend some time on learning the tool and then you'll find this really really interesting and useful for sure so here we go we have got global styles then we have got the navigation so we have got the media library settings and this one is the quick style so that you can basically check uh, or basically you can you can you can change the typography and the color shim of the website for instance it's now with this shim so if i click here just take a look now it's looking like kind of utb vibe um, appeared here so you can basically change your let's say global fonts as well if you want for instance just take a look how it's gonna look right so it's brilliant so spend some time on learning the tool and now let's say i have edited and made it customized for myself now i'm gonna click on publish to publish the website if you want you can add a custom domain by uh, adding your domain name but you have to purchase a plan first but if you want to use it for free you can simply uh, get this like that so i'm gonna type out uh, one two one or ajarograph youtuber dot doric dot io so let's click on publish site and now the site is published if i click here copy and if i visit this website from anywhere of the world or if i share this website to anyone they are going to visit going to be able to visit this website right so here we go so this was it guys spend some time on learning the tool and then start creating your professional looking portfolio website then you can use this portfolio website to attract clients promote your services and work or let's say get hired by clients from outside the marketplaces which is um, many of the freelancers 
thinks about okay so i believe you have found this video helpful and informative if you did please give this video a like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more helpful videos in near future thank you so much have a good day bye bye